I, I just want to really briefly uh, support uh, certainly the thrust and principle of uh, Senator Fitzpatrick's amendment here. Uh, I think that we need to mandate the members in our local authorities to hold their executive to account in the performance of their adherence to the development plan, plan probabilities and possibilities uh, and, and in looking at the provision of housing and homes in accordance with this bill and the Land Development Agency. You know, it is, it is incredibly important. I, and I, to be honest, I would go further. I like, my, my favorite line in it is probably the idea that there was a review on the 15th of September every year. But I would go further and say that following up on that and a publication of a league tables, a publication of what are the, a transparency about what are the impediments that have stopped development. You know, we, we have a, a history over the last number of years of the, the expenditure provided for, uh, for traveller accommodation is never met, never met across the country. And I mean, that's shameful as well. Uh, so I think that in, in this, having a, that the 15th of September every year, that there is a, 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 you know, a day of reckoning where we assess and there is a, a transparency about the provision of homes. Um, and then also that we follow up on that in having a report here into the houses of the Oireachtas, into both houses of the Oireachtas, that the minister comes in and gives us an assessment and that all members of the house of all sides get to question that and get to make statements on it and make representations on behalf of local authorities, on behalf of, of the members and the issues that they have raised or the, the the difficulties they're experiencing, but that we have a transparency of accountability in adhering and in performing uh, the, 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 in the provision of homes under the, both this and the LDA. Thank you. Thank you.